I'm on authority that a lot of my subs, y'all are accustomed to my style. That I usually don't talk about celebrities like this because I have no favorite entertainer in no form of fashion, no favorite sports personality, no favorite Hollywood actor, actress, no fam famous singer. Okay. So you all know this about me because I have new subs. I want to thank you all for subbing, whether you stay subbed or unsub and resub or whatever. I appreciate your support and I appreciate your feedback. So for everyone who's new, I really don't talk about celebrities much. Let's talk about jail right quick. Okay. Because this was just so stupid, I just couldn't let it go. You get arrested, right? And rightfully so, because you've been caught on tape doing a crime that people had long suspected you had done. You've had a myriad of allegations for decades that people swept under the rug. And you're finally captured. Not so much captured, because we the cops knew where you were and you're locked up. Again... We have to take the evidence as what we've seen because a lot of this was speculation until things continue to leak. That it's pretty hard to prove nor disprove, more so disprove than anything, that that stuff was uh, set up. Meaning that it was something that was done as a setup to get this person. As is, when you got a defense attorney for these type of charges, that retainer got to be on fleek, man. I mean, I, the legal bills I can't imagine. But what we not going to do to our defense attorney, who's trying to fight to get us out of jail because we didn't got ourselves in this mess, is write down a to-do list of who to get dirt on. Of course, that's sugar. And then y'all will hear her meow probably. To write this to-do list and then leave it. So that it can be found and used as evidence. When you're this high profile, you just don't do something this, this, this careless. Something about this seems off to me, but I'm not going to push conspiracy theories. Let me talk reality. I'm 44. That means born in 1980. I really feel I'm of the cusp of that last generation that knew you should use common sense not to incriminate yourself in this way. We can get into the... Uh, whole thing of you're making what people say about you true. That's stating the obvious, right? When you're this high profile, this just don't make any sense. Common sense would tell you when you have a good defense attorney what not to do in a situation when you go to jail, right? Because I know the conversation had to be had. I mean, let's keep it a buck. It was had. And what we're not finna do is sit here and write a list about who we gonna get dirt on and then hope we can pass that list off so that it's not seen. As if the charges against you weren't enough. Y'all can remember, right, because I got at least one or maybe two subs who worked in the uh, prison system that understand what I mean. People of that high profile just don't do dirty stuff like this in the open. Because I saw this and I'm like, I, I, yeah, this is going to be a video. Yeah, we're going to drop this one. Is this what's going on now where we know we've committed a crime so it's just easy to just self-snitch on ourselves and write a list of who we think is the problem? 
Because the prosecutor is going to eat this up. He may as well have served this in a, in a high-end restaurant with Dom Perignon and served it up like it was a freaking uh, Japanese Wagyu. Because there's a difference between the original Wagyu from Japan, okay, from Kobe, and the American Wagyu. Not to say that American Wagyu ain't good, but you know what I'm getting at. Why are y'all giving your stupidity to these uh, prosecutors on a platter? And you really think that can't be used against you? When rudimentary research such as crime shows will tell you that the stupid stuff you say on the phone to your family uh, when you're locked up, awaiting arraignment and trial, can be used against you in a court of law. When you want to put a hit on someone because you know that person being alive is a, a you perceive as a threat to you. And you don't think for a hot second the other person's not going to snitch so that they can get their time lowered. You write a list thinking they don't do raids when common sense tells you that they have to go and do secret raids for contraband. Never been locked up. I wouldn't know, but I'm saying this seems like common sense. Tell me what y'all think. I really think that you can be really rich and lack complete and utter common sense and just not be able to read the room. Because somebody will watch this and say, well, Tara, he was just that desperate. No, that's dumb. If I'm your defense attorney, I'm going to tell you don't do it. It's hard to not show weakness because you locked up when you're not accustomed to that. But you don't blatantly show weakness by doing stuff like this. It's one thing that we know you did it, but you may as well just go on and write a confession and say what all you've done if you had to write a list of who you wanted to get dirt on to look bad. Can y'all answer the question, why are people so comfortable now with self-snitch? And I, I'm, just, I, I'm just curious. And doing it to a level where they seem like the higher profile they are, the more they seem to do it in a way that it's going to make the news. Because you know this is going to make the news. Tell me, y'all, why do y'all think people are comfortable with self-snitching? 